good morning students welcome back to your maths class and you have already finished your post midterm examination and from today onwards we will start our final term syllabus so let's begin students and today's chapter is chapter number 13 the longest step and today we will see the non standard measurement of length to measure lengths using non standard units now what are this non standard units of measurement non standard units of measurement are the units of measurement that aren't typically used such as pencil and arm a toothpick or a shoe we can use just about anything as a non standard unit of measurement and we use two types of non standard units one is our body part and the next is any object so first we will begin with our body parts now you can see this is nidhi and that is rahul they are brothers and sisters now they went to the market to buy flower garlands now watch how the lady is selling the flower garland to nidhi she is using her arm from elbow to the tip of her middle finger to measure the flower garland see she has measured once and she is measuring it again so two times so from your elbow to the tip of your middle finger is called 1 cubit so nidhi has bought 2 cubit of flower garlands now observe children what is cubit it is the measurement of your arm from elbow to the tip of your middle finger is 1 cubit now rahul wants to measure the rope using his hand that is cubit so see how he is measuring see one cubit how he is measuring from the elbow to the tip of his middle finger one cubit then again he is measuring two cubit then again three cubit and again he is measuring 4 cubit so he has taken 4 cubit of rope now nidhi wants to measure her face see she is using her hand span to measure her face it is one hand span long same rahul is also measuring his face it is also one hand span long so what is hand span it measures from your thumb to the tip of your little finger that is hand span now rahul wants to measure his ear with his palm he is using his palm to measure it yes it is three fingers long now nidhi is measuring her nose with her palm yes it is three fingers long and her forehead is four fingers long you can also measure your ears forehead and nose with your palm see children the picture of the palm now nidhi wants to measure this carpet with her foot so let us see how she is measuring one foot two feet three feet four feet five feet six feet so the blanket is or the carpet is 6 feet long and this is the picture of foot 1 foot 2 feet now this is the digit 
one finger resembles digit now this is arm span from the tip of your left hand middle finger to the tip of your right hand middle finger is one arm span yes children stretch your arms and see your arm span yes next is face see children using your feet how can you measure face so body parts such as fingers hand span etc are non standard units of measuring length as they differ from person to person if two persons measure the length of an object using body parts they get different answers isn't it children now you are having your study table just use your cubit to measure your study table and ask your parents also to measure the study table with their using cubits you will see it will definitely differ in length what you have measured and what your parents have measured now we will learn non standard units using objects we can also measure the length of an object with the help of another object like here you can see we are measuring the length of the pencil using clips james clips so this pencil is four clips long or the length of the pencil is equal to four clips now here we are measuring the length of the spoon by using erasers see the length of the spoon is equal to seven erasers so you can also measure your toothbrush your comb with the help of the erasers and see the length so let's recap today we have learned some non standard units of measurement like hand span cubit palm digit foot arm span pace and any object and what we have learned that all the non standard units of measurement differ from person to person so now it's your homework time first is measure the length of your maths textbook using your cubit and number 2 is measure the length of your maths copy using your eraser write all the answers in your copy thank you children and goodbye